The door window sensor is known under several names, but that is nothing compared to the number of practical uses and features this smart device has to offer. If you want to know how you can benefit from having one of these at your home, then you are in the right place. In the next couple minutes, I will tell you everything that you need to know about the door window sensor and why including it in your smart home system will make your life easier and also smarter. What we have here is a wireless, battery-supported magnetic contact sensor which easily fits in the palm of your hand. The idea of a door window sensor is that it reacts accordingly to the position of the magnet that comes with the product. When the two are next to each other, the device will report that a given door or window is closed. And the moment the sensor's body and the magnet are separated, the opening is detected. Door window sensor comes in three different colors. That's white, black, and brown. This makes it possible to match the color of your door and window frames and also make the device less visible. Since this is a Z-Wave device, you need a Z-Wave controller to make it function. But the very inclusion process is as simple as one, two, three. And I mean literally. Here, let me show you. Before you start using our sensor, take off the cover and remove the battery blocker. Now you can add the door window sensor to your smart home system. Move within the direct range of your Z-Wave controller and set the main controller into the adding mode. Now press the TMP button located on the sensor three times. That is all. If you own a Fibaro gateway, take advantage of the dedicated mobile app and add the sensor directly from your mobile phone. Quick note, there are actually two TMP buttons located on the door window sensor. If you have not mounted the sensor yet, you will use the button one this one. The second one will be used when the sensor has already been attached to the surface. Mounting the sensor and the magnet properly is key for the sensor to work as expected. You will find two vertical line marks and those should always align. In addition, the maximum distance between the sensor and the magnet should be 5 millimeters. This means that you should aim for this not this. You can use the included sticker or additional screws to mount your sensor. The magnet still has to be stuck on, however. Since this is a battery-powered sensor, it cannot act as a range repeater. This option is restricted to Z-Wave devices that use a constant power supply, like a smart plug, for instance. On the plus side, the sensor range can reach up to 40 meters indoors, which let's be honest, should be enough to cover the area of a small apartment. Obviously, we should take into account the building structure. So, thick walls and additional obstacles can affect the range. Those with larger households will extend that network range by including any Z-Wave switch or smart plug that I mentioned previously, somewhere between the Fibaro door window sensor and your Z-Wave controller. One more advantage of Z-Wave is that the protocol is optimized for low battery consumption. Keeping your sensor at default settings should make the battery last approximately two years. Fibaro door window sensor has a built-in temperature sensor with a temperature measuring range of 0 to 40 Celsius degrees. That kinda gives you a hint that the device can be used indoors only. The temperature sensor is a nice addition on its own, but if you have other smart devices to control your heating system, you can use this device as, well, an extra temperature reference point. One last thing worth mentioning is that the sensor detects tempering when detached or opened. So this basically means that whenever the device is moved from its original place or someone decided to take off the cover, you will know about it. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
please stay tuned for part two in which we will cover top five uses of the door window sensor at your home.